Hi, so today we will study a new theorem which relates the diagonals and the sides of a cyclic quadrilateral and this theorem is known as the Ptolemy theorem named after the person who proved this. So let me draw a circle, okay. Okay, fine. And what I'm going to draw is I'm, I'm, I'm going to draw a cyclic quadrilateral. So, of course, the, all, all the points lie on the circle. So, I can take any four points. This one, this one, this one, this one. Completely my choice. And now, I will draw the sides and the diagonals. Let me draw this. So here are all the four sides, okay, and now I'm going to draw the diagonals. And of course, this uh, doesn't need to pass to the center. It can center of the circle. It can be anywhere. Okay, if we can squeeze a quadrilateral, then it will go. It will shift downwards. Now, the Ptolemy theorem it uh, it relates these diagonals with these side uh, sides. Okay, so the Ptolemy theorem says. Write this down. We take the product of these two diagonals. Okay, so we go like AC into let me add this down here. AC into this one BD. This will be equal to the sum of products of the two opposite sides. Now the product of Two opposite sides, which means AB times BC. These two are opposite, clearly. So AB times CD plus these two AD times BC. This is what the Fermi theorem says product of two diagonals is equal to the product of some of the opposite sides. Now the proof is is an, another video, so we'll uh, get to the proof in a couple of videos later. But that's what you need to remember for now. That this is the relation between diagonals and the four sides, and of course it's valid for cyclic. Quadrilaterals. Now that we know this, we'll solve just to get a feel of this. We'll solve a problem. Okay, it's an, it's from NCRT. Yeah, it's from NCRT. But uh, the approach we shall use is using the Ptolemy theorem. So here's how the problem goes. We have a circle. Okay. And in a circle, we make a chord, okay, like this. And it's uh, it's PQ, 
we call this point P and Q. Now from from a point T, so we call this point T. We draw two tangents from a T P, we from T to P and T to Q. We draw this as the book says. This one and this one. And if uh, and yeah, they have two uh, radii. So the center, let's call this O. Something like this. We need to find out uh, the length of this chord is given PQ, the radii, the radii given. Okay, so PQ is uh, 8 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters. We need to find out the length of this tangent TP. So the question was TP, what is TP? Okay, now if you spot the two similar triangles. It will become way easier. Okay, it's just a matter of a criteria. Or you can do you do this using uh, the Pythagoras theorem. Slightly more longer, but anyway. So, but we will do you do it using Ptolemy theorem. So I connect construct the other diagonal, which is O T. Okay. And let me just label these things. Let us let me call this L. And remember, these two tangents have to be equal. This will also be L. The radii is R, and this one this will be also R. Let us call this O T as D for now, and P Q as X. What? Is L. That's the basic question. That's the question. Now give this a try using a Ptolemy theorem. So now that you have paused the video and give this a try, let us look at how we can do this. So first let us use the Ptolemy theorem in this quadrilateral O, Q, T, and P. Because this is a cyclic quadrilateral. We have proved this. Sum of this angle, the opposite angles, is equal to 180 degrees. If we take these two angles, this is 90, this is 90, 180. This is here this is 180 minus theta. So what it says, the Ptolemy theorem says that product of two diagonals, this is x, remember this was x times d. So x times d will be equal to product of these two, l into r. Okay, l into r plus l into r. Product sum of opposite sides. Product of opposite sides. So 2L into R. That's one thing we get. Now notice we know only uh, X and R. But there's another thing which relates R, L and D. The Pythagoras theorem, right? Uh, because this is a right angle triangle. We can use the Pythagoras theorem. We can easily say that, okay, R square plus L square is equal to D square. So we can use these two and then manipulate. So yeah, we can square them. Okay. And then write uh, d square as this thing. From this we can uh, easily get n. So L square will be, okay, that's uh, X square R square minus 4 R square minus X square. Yeah. And then L will be, be the root of this entire thing. So we finally, we get L as X into R by this expression. 
and that's what L is. And we can easily substitute these values. Okay. So x is eight. The entire thing is eight, not the half. The entire thing is eight. The quad P Q is eight. So eight times five. Okay. R. Upon root four into five square. That's a hundred. Four into twenty-five, a hundred minus x square. Eight square, sixty-four. So from this we get L is equal to that's forty by root thirty-six, six, forty by six, and twenty by three centimeter. Everything is in centimeter. This will also be in centimeter. So this is how you use Ptolemy theorem and successfully solve a problem using this. In the next video, we'll see why this works. We'll prove the Ptolemy theorem. So as always, thanks for watching.